Welcome to week one of my 21 day juice cleanse using my new Nama J2 juicer. So exciting. This has to be one of the most exciting grocery shopping moments I've had in a while. I don't think you understand how eager I am to experience the full potential of my new juicer. And I cannot wait to share my experience with you. So far, this cleanse has been such an emotional roller coaster ride, a lot of ups and downs, but I'm getting through it. One thing I noticed almost immediately is that my experience on this cleanse is so different compared to my previous one. I just feel like my 90 day cleanse didn't allow me time to really focus on myself because I was always busy with life and juicing. Now that I have more free time to think, my experience is a little more meaningful for the most part. So I just wanna give you guys an update on the Nama J2 juicer. I know it's been a minute, but I wanted to fully experience the juicer first. I didn't want to get it and like juice some fruit or some veggies and get on camera and say, oh, this is a wonderful juicer. And you know, you guys should get it and all of this other stuff. I really wanted to experience it first, like juicing sweet potatoes, nut milks. Like I really wanted to get in a groove of it to see, you know, do I love this juicer? Is it really convenient? You know, all of those good things and I would have to say oh my god it's a game changer and before I get into it my eyes may be a little red but it has been an emotional day today and you know a lot of crying so my eyes are like super red but I am good you know I'm on a 21 day juice cleanse this is day four and things are crazy so I just wanted to throw that out there I didn't want you guys to think like oh my god what's going on with her eyes that's what's going on with my eyes that's what's happening okay the number one thing that I love is the fact that I have so much free time for myself and like what I mean by that is basically showing up for myself so before on my 90 day juice cleanse I was so focused on juicing I would say things like well let me get this done for my daughter let me do this let me make sure I get my work done because I do have you know an eight to five job and it would take me literally two to four hours to juice two hours if you know I'm, I'm not recording and four hours if I am recording so it would take me forever and it would I would have to do that every day night and morning so it was like I really didn't have free time for myself to show up for myself and when I did have free time it was always to do something else work out focus on my daughter like homework and all of those things and now I have so much free time I literally uh, timed it and realized that it takes under 15 minutes to juice 32 ounces and that's crazy like that's insane to me and I didn't realize how much money I was losing using my juicer like I know a lot of people in the comments you know were saying it and I just didn't care like I'm like whatever I'm not losing that much money like it can't be that serious y'all I'm losing I was losing a lot of freaking money and how I know that is because I usually would juice like 20 cucumbers along with other things as well just to get two gallons and I'm using half of that to get two gallons and it blows my mind because when I went to the grocery store to shop, I'm shopping as if I'm shopping for the juicer that I have. So this makes me feel like the juice recipe that I provided is way off. Like you're getting way more than what I intended you to get from the recipe list I provided. Like you're, the good thing about it is you're taking in way more than four ounces. So that's great. But you're probably going to be taking in way more than six ounces as well, which is, I would say the maximum you should take in um, in a day, especially if you're drinking water as well. So way off off that list will have to be revised because baby it is off I did not realize how much money I was losing and it almost made me feel a little sick because what's going on with me like really you should have been invested in this juicer a long time ago and to be honest I didn't know about a masticating juicer until I started vlogging my journey so when I got on day 60 it was a lot of people in the comments like oh you need a masticating juicer you need Nama J2 juicer because I've been juicing for years and I never knew about 
you know, a masticating juicer. I thought all juicers were the same. It was no difference between them. And when I started getting those comments, I started doing research and that's when I found out about it. So it wasn't a rush to get one because I'm just thinking like, oh, it's just cooler. It's not really saving you no money. Like it's probably not all of that. You know, that was my thought process. Like you could really do it, you know, without a masticating juicer. You guys know I said it, it was, it was posted, whatever but um and you still can you still can do it without a, ma a masticating juicer um I just feel like you know you shouldn't make excuses not to start on your healing journey because you don't have the funds to it's so many creative ways to start your healing journey whether you want to eat raw or water fast or juice fast and use a you know not a masticating juicer so you don't necessarily have to have one but what what i will say is that it's extremely convenient like not just convenient but you get a bang for your buck like if you're on a juice cleanse you're going to get the max maximum you know vitamins and minerals especially if you are consuming your juices within 20 minutes which now I'm able to do because I'm not juicing in bulk anymore so since you know I'm able to juice like 32 ounces under 15 minutes it's nothing at all for me to just juice what I need in that moment and drink my juice and whenever I want more or need more in that day I could just go back and juice I was not able to do that before I I had to sit in the kitchen and juice and bulk because I, I was lacking okay I was lacking the time and the energy to get it done so I had to schedule it accordingly and now I have so much flexibility to get it done that it's mind-blowing so I have a lot of time to focus on my mental health I have a lot of time to focus on a lot of different things now especially providing updates to you guys on my 21 day juice cleanse I don't know how I would have been able to do that and post as much as I have been as far as my cleanse go if I was still using my centrifugal. Tell me if I'm wrong. Centrifugal? Centrifugal? Centrifugal. I think that's how you pronounce it. You guys know I had to think about it first before I said it. But yeah, so I couldn't imagine myself using that juicer and trying to like really accomplish what I'm trying to accomplish now. I felt so drained when I was blogging my 90 day uh, juice fast journey. Like it was, it was too much. So now I just want to give you my review on how things are different depending on what you're juicing. So when I juice fruit, especially like my pineapples, my apples, my oranges, my grapes, I don't have to strain my juices. And that's something that I love because it adds to the time. And when it comes to my other juicer, I spent a lot of time straining in my juices and I also had to wash my juicer which took forever because the I don't know what um, filter basket that's what it's called the filter basket would take me forever to clean because you really have to like scrub it and like it was just too much so the cleanup process was a headache as well also it had a basket in the back that will fill up quick so you would have to stop and dump it and go and put it back on and all of that just adds up as far as time goes and with this Nama J2 juicer it really is a game changer and if you're trying to embark on a juice fast I feel like it's something that you should save up for invest in get help from friends and family if you need to to get one especially if your focus is healing the body now if that's your focus and you want to use juice fasting as a method to do that I would highly advise to like save up for it do what you have to do to get your hands on one however it does not stop the show so if you cannot afford you know a masticating juicer my stance on it is the same because you have to use what you got until you get what you need okay and that's how it works when it came to the nut milk I did have to strain it but only once and um it wasn't bad like as far as the cleanup process goes just clean the strainer it wasn't bad and I bought a bigger strainer so I only had to do it once because a lot of the pulp was coming through and I was like oh no this is too thick but it worked out well and I feel like the best way to make it is by following the instructions 
experience they provide. You will fail every time at it if you try to wing it yourself because initially that's what I was gonna do. But when I started following the instructions, I realized like, okay, okay, this is how it needs to be done for me to get the results that I want from the juicer. As far as soaking the almonds, which you should be doing anyway, and also soaking the dates. That was something that I wouldn't have done. And I'm glad I looked at the instructions because it could call, I'm assuming that when it fits out the pulp, that it would cause it to kind of get stuck. And then now you have all this pulp backed up into the machine. And you don't want that because it makes the um, process, the cleanup process harder because you have to really kind of pull out the blade. If you have a Nama J2 juicer, you know what I'm talking about. You really have to, you know, put a little muscle in it to pull it out. And you don't want to do that, especially if you don't notice that the pulp is not coming out. It's getting more and more bagged up because then it starts to get in your juice and that's a problem when it came to my fruit juices all good and dandy but when it came to those green juices you guys oh my god it was it was a love hate type of thing so if I was adding in things like cucumbers or apples or you know anything that was high in water content the process would be a breeze but if I was only doing green veggies it was like a situation where it would kind of get bagged up a little bit you know it wasn't really spitting out as much pulp like I thought it would and also I would have to keep popping the lid open to kind of detangle the um cilantro and the parsley to get it to kind of filter back through and go through uh you know the juicing process so I felt like I was putting in more effort to get the uh green juices however still a game changer still getting a bang for my buck it was amazing it still is I would say the best experience I've ever had with any freaking juicer. I know some of you guys are visual learners, so I am going to be going through the process quickly on how I juice my sweet potatoes, my nut milk, my green juices, and my fruit juices. I think I did one or the other fruit or um, green juice, I can't remember, but I will be going through that quickly. So I don't wanna hold you up, so let's get into it. So let's start with the nut milk recipe first. Based on the instructions provided, the juicer needs to be turned on before adding in any ingredients. All you need is two cups of almonds or nut of choice, two cups of water, two to three pitted dates, and that's it. For the best results, slowly add in the ingredients through the top hole versus opening the hopper. Also, let it spin for a while before releasing the milk into the container. This allows everything to blend nicely together. I was a little nervous about this recipe, but I allowed the sweet potatoes to soak for 30 minutes prior to juicing. I also added in two apples to the recipe because the taste was freaking amazing. Just to sum it up, it wasn't difficult at all for the juicer to break down the sweet potatoes. However, this is one of the juices I had to strain because some pulp came through. The Nama J2 juicer is really great with breaking down high water content food. In this recipe, I will be juicing two large cucumbers, two apples, and one whole pineapple. I love a nice fruit juice. Most of the time, I'm sitting around while waiting for my juicer to do its magic. I would have to give the Nama J2 juicer a 10 out of 10 because nothing compares to this experience. I hope this helps you on your journey and I look forward to sharing more with you. See you in my next video.